Hello everyone, thank you so much for being here today. I invite you to look at some tendencies and possible developments for 2021 in your life. Let's look at some cards and reflect on some questions. Let's get started. So in this video, I'd like to offer you an insight about the upcoming year. Yeah, I just checked the calendar. It seems to be a very good time to do just that. So let's dive in. And I will ask you just for a moment, maybe to close your eyes or to soften your gaze, to relax a little bit more, maybe find a comfortable position wherever you are sitting right now. And I hope you are not driving at this moment wouldn't be the best moment to do this so I invite you to just clear your thoughts for just one second two seconds three seconds and relax this will help you to make the choice that is the most appropriate for you at this moment and I will ask you to choose your pile. Okay, so this will be number one, this will be number two, and this will be number three. And we'll go from there. Reconnect with your intuition and choose the pile that speaks to you right now. Okay, great. So we'll start with the pile number one. So let's look at the first pile. So it looks to me that this year was really something and uh, even though the year itself was very unusual and it was a little bit uh, stressful for many people it looks like you've had some very nice uh, progression in some area so you've seen your situation ev evolving so it was not stagnant it was a certain maybe unexpected good change for you um, I don't know if it seemed uh, good at first or it became apparent that it was a good decision or a good ev evolvement of a situation later but something happened that was rather good and maybe one of the lessons that you've learned from this year might be something along the lines that the action is important but not just any action, not impulsive action, but rather action based on some careful thinking and based on facts, uh, being grounded, being prepared and uh, making a choice was a really um, valuable experience for you this year, probably. Yeah, at the same time, uh, your hopes and goals for the upcoming year, they include a certain choice to be made. And probably you've been thinking about this choice since you, your situation changed and maybe feeling a little bit uncertain about which way to go. And choices are important part of our life and we always have to make them but in this case it, it seems like there is a choice that really is important maybe a certain decision to make probably you you have really a good experience with making choices in the past or maybe gaining you've gained some knowledge from how to make this choice however it's it's kind of a cornerstone it's something that you are thinking about and you are really seeking to uh, uh, find the stability 
with your finances, with your wellness, with your maybe even emotions, but mostly, uh, I would say, financial stability. And uh, the thought about having this in your life really motivates you to move forward, really uh, feels good for you. It's like uh, you are maybe caring for someone, maybe for your family, and it's not a frivolous thing to consider. It's something important. So gaining this stability. At the same time, when it comes to the barriers, uh, it might be the situation where you have certain um, unknown, like in any situation, really, you always have something beneath the surface, something that you do not know about and you'd like to learn about, but it's not always possible because, you, you know, we don't know what we don't know. So, of course, there is a sense of uncertainty, especially if you started a new venture if you started or you want to start a new business or change careers and you are in this uh, fork um, in the road of course there is uncertainty it might feel scare might feel scary it might feel uh, a little bit uncomfortable so this is something that probably slows you down quite a bit just because of this fear however you have a very good intention, so you have a s very strong sense of uh, m moving forward and you've gained some really interesting experiences during the past year. So this will help you overcome this uncertainty and move forward. And when it comes to relationships and emotional realm, it feels like you are a very active person, you are expressing your emotions and you are able to communicate with people and maybe sometimes you are on the side of being a little bit uh, over over the top <laughs> if i might say that so in relationships in uh, emotional realm you're very active you have lots of energy this is something that you'll have this year maybe you'll be more active when it comes to uh, maintaining your emotional state and uh, creating new relationships too and when it comes to career and finances it seems like there might be a real benefit in finding a guide and finding someone maybe a mentor uh, someone who could share their wisdom with you and probably it will help you with your choice. Probably it will help you to gain this stability and to move forward beyond uncertainty because the guidance might be really helpful. And it seems like this year, you, uh, the upcoming year, you'll uh, be seeking some guidance. This might come from within, it might come from outside. It might be uh, someone who has a lot of knowledge and experience in the area. It might be someone who, uh, who is a few steps ahead of you or maybe even farther ahead of you. So he will help you, he or she, I don't know, uh, will probably help you to move forward and overcome the obstacles. When it comes to the well-being and energy level, it seems like this year you'll be really careful about yourself about your own well-being and you'll be spending some time on self-development, on nurturing, on your self, uh, self-care. This will help you to grow in other areas as well. This is something that you'll put your energy towards. Um, maybe the past year was a little bit difficult. It was a little bit, um, you know, uh, energy draining in a way for many many people so this year will be a year of recovery and moving towards healing the self-care becomes quite important in the spiritual realm it seems like you are a very experienced person who has lots of knowledge when it comes to the 
spiritual things and maybe even your change of career or your new venture is related to the spiritual sphere so it seems like you really have uh, lots of knowledge in this and you are this person who can use this knowledge um, especially with this guide that you are seeking the contact with it will help you to move forward with all this knowledge and your emotional readiness your emotional energy that you have to move forward and to continue on your path at the same time we'll see the areas to focus on and if you notice the tower so this is in the place of the areas to focus on so there is nothing to be really stressed about because i think in this case to be honest with all the strong cards that you've got the tower in this place maybe relates to the situation when you are seeking to uh, start a new and probably something has been uh, pretty much destroyed maybe it was um, something related to your occupation previous to this whole crisis of 2019-2020 maybe it's your mm, this movement from one area to another when you have to change your uh, thoughts your world view quite a lot so this might be it this might be related to your change that you are pursuing so the area to focus on will be probably rebuilding so starting a new rebuilding whatever you want to build and making sure that you are having a good foundation for it and it seems that you do because you already have lots of knowledge and you already realize how important the self-care and the energy maintenance is and that with this guide who can share with you a few uh, wisdoms it it will be a really good process of rebuilding now the most important lesson of the upcoming year is perseverance so without any surprises we can say that yeah moving forward overcoming the obstacles uh, making a little bit of effort every day will sure bring you the results you are seeking maybe 100% um, maybe 90% but still you'll get some results if you continue if you not abandon you know the the path in this way you will you'll be able to test your idea and uh, to see the impact that it has on people uh, or maybe to see yourself in this new role continue moving forward and this is the most important uh, lesson when it comes to the upcoming year and again uh, this card the page of ones here confirms one one more time that we are looking here at a new direction where you looking here at the new path that you're taking something new something exciting uh, a little bit scary a little bit uncertain but you have knowledge and you have um, or probably will have a guide that will help you and you have this emotional energy to rebuild to move forward beyond uncertainty to overcome the obstacles and persevere so it's really um, an interesting spread here and i wish you all the luck and to use all the beautiful resources that you have and to have lots of success this year with your new uh, venture so thank you so much for watching this now i will invite you to uh, find a position that really is the most comfortable for you at this moment and for just a few minutes connect with your inner guidance with your internal wisdom and reflect 
on your goal. Probably you have a well-formed goal in mind. Maybe you want to start a new business. Maybe you've already started a new business and you have some choices to make, decisions to take. It looks like you are a person of action, so you know how to take action. Maybe there is something that you can add to the mix. Maybe there is someone who you can ask for advice to be able to move in a direction that will guide you towards the new development. The situation is evolving for you and despite the fact that you have a few uncertain points in there something beneath the surface that you probably don't know you seem to have lots of knowledge and be able to take care of yourself and of your mission with confidence looks like you have the energy or you will gain this energy by taking appropriate steps towards your own well-being to support yourself so that you can rebuild that you can start a new or continue something that you started just recently this year So I will invite you to ponder a couple of questions. And the first one will be... How can you nurture yourself to be able to maintain your energy at the appropriate level? What is it that helps you to regain your energy, to regenerate? to feel good, to get up in the morning feeling ready for the day. What is it for you, your personal recipe of nurturing your own well-being? And if you like journaling, you can journal and you can answer this question in writing. Or you can simply think about it. It's probable that some ideas might arise later. Something from your past. Something that you've been doing for yourself or you have experience of. Something that you know is helpful for you things that you do regularly or maybe you've been doing in the past and then stopped maybe you remember them and use those tools again and the second question will be who or what can help you make choices and gain more insights about your mission. Maybe you have a few people in mind. Maybe even books or other resources. You know that book that you wanted to read since forever now might remind of itself. Or maybe some people in the area of your interest who know your path, who can share their wisdom with you. And again, you might get an idea now or later, maybe even in your dream. And it's possible that you get some insights a couple of days from now if you ask yourself this question over and over a few times 
you will naturally start to search for the answer even without making any effort our mind likes the questions it likes to search for the answers in a non-linear way in a way that is not very logical sometimes but that's the beauty of the process so I invite you to ponder these two questions and see what happens and where this will lead you okay so we'll we're going to the pile number two and we'll see what tendencies what insights about the upcoming 2021 we can get from this pile a very interesting spread indeed it seems like the year was not very easy for you and again it's easy to say with the year like 2020 however it looks like the summary of this year for you is all about strength which is a great thing even if you had difficulties if you encountered some things that were quite hard to overcome it looks like you have this very prominent feature of being strong of having a strong will willpower you might be a gentle person might be a very kind or you might be a sensitive but at the same time you have this inner core this strong core within you and there is no denying that this is something that helped you to move through difficulties this past year so the lesson that you learned from this year is that moving forward is something that helps you to advance not surprisingly it's something that helps you to overcome you've been thinking quite a lot probably about some situations that you had to overcome and you've been probably appreciating your strength or probably you didn't appreciate it enough so it's a great moment to do this right now because i assure you if you overcame some difficulties you are a strong person for sure and you've gained the knowledge of how to move forward this year something unique maybe something that you've never encountered before and now you know that you can overcome even that so this is something to consider and it looks like your hope and your goal is to move forward still so to continue on the same path maybe in a new path maybe it's the same for you but you 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 want to move forward you want to continue on this path so you've gained the real understanding and the value of moving forward and you want to persevere and continue and go forward with this and it looks like at the same time that gaining experience is something that excites you probably that something that helps you move forward actually something that motivates you a lot so you probably are a very curious person who likes to gain new experiences and maybe even uh, you are one of those people who even though they value the end result at the same time they really appreciate the process so it really looks like you have this deep understanding and appreciation of the process of moving forward not only you know obtaining your diploma but also enjoying the learning process not only receiving a certain award but you know enjoying the creative process so something about the process that really speaks to you and when it comes to some possible barriers here uh, on one hand it might be related to your decision making 
or to finding imbalance. So something about weighing options that is not intuitively easy for you. Something about, uh, you know, making a choice or even balancing things out. Uh, you might be a really ambitious person who moves forward a lot, pushing forward using the willpower, you know, just moving, go, 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 go. And then uh, at some point you might realize how tired you are and that it's just impossible to continue this way. So there might be a word of caution to find this balance of uh, moving forward, persevering, but at the same time being careful with yourself. So like without pushing yourself too hard, but you know, finding this balance when you can regenerate and at the same time still move forward. So it's interestingly in the relationship, you have uh, something wonderful. <laughs> so you have the lovers, which is, well, it might be one, uh, one of several things probably you've you will met, meet someone or probably you are already in a relationship that will flourish further so you know it's very pleasant to give a positive prediction so i really enjoy pointing out at the lover's card in the relationship position so it's something fulfilling something really amazing happening there is a possibility so whether it's an existing relationship or something that might uh, develop the, during the upcoming year, there is a very strong possibility of uh, being uh, in this uh, great state of, of like finding this person who will be your soulmate. When it comes to the career, <laughs> look at this, you have a, a partner again, so you have um, a certain connection. It depends on what you are doing, but it feels like you're doing or you want to start doing something that really speaks to your heart that really is fulfilling for you and this is the card of duality so it's about finding like again a balance so there is a lot of uh, reference to finding a balance in this spread and it feels like again it, it's a reminder that you know, even if we move forward constantly and we're doing, 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 there is value in looking into our emotional state and reassessing how actually we are feeling and how others are feeling. And even if it comes to the career or a professional environment to reconnect with people, whether it's your a colleague whether it's your boss it's your customer so to find this connection that it might be the theme of the 2021 when we all need you know we all need this connection even more than ever we need to reconnect emotionally because we were so alienated in a way and during this pandemic crisis so uh, even when it comes to career or a professional environment it's important to reconnect with people and find this uh, internal connection that will help to move things forward and when it comes to well-being it, it seems like you're a very logical person and you have quite a few ideas about what you need to do for yourself so that you you have a very strong sense of well-being you know at, at the same time again we're moving to decision making here when it comes to the spiritual realm or in self-development you know uh, again uh, balance and choice comes up so there might be a certain choice that you'll be making and again this this can be related to finding a balance or this can be related to um, maybe finding uh, a certain uh, connection with other people. Uh, and when we make choices, sometimes we see quite a few different details related to the choice. You know, we, we see it from different perspectives. Or sometimes we don't see uh, very important parts of this. So in this case, it might be something that is a little bit more difficult to do when it comes to spiritual uh, realm. So it might be something that you are really very logical about. So you have the knowledge. And these two cards, I would say that 
they're a little bit too <laughs> logical for the spiritual um, and well-being part but you might be that kind of person who really uh, relies on their logical thinking a lot and you probably are very uh, intellectual a person so in this case it's no uh, wonder that the, the card of um, emotional balance appears and um, also reminds you that you probably there is some balance to be found so what's about the situation about the choice uh, is it only a logical choice or there is something else to consider is there any emotional involvement of course there is most probably is there anything else that you want to think about when it comes to your uh, fulfillment to your self-development to your spiritual energy so um, areas to focus on is justice which might mean finding a truth it might illuminate something for you so probably you are right now in the search of certain truth whether it's in the professional or in the, your private life you might want to find out something and it seems like this year will help you to do just that to find out the truth that will help you move forward and probably it will be a year of great revelation so something to be on the lookout for so what truth will this year bring to you now when it comes to the most important lesson again we are here on a new path and it might take some time it might not happen overnight so if you are considering to change to shift someplace else to to make a move to maybe move to a different area of uh, professional life and development maybe to start your own business so there it, it it will be something that will be on your mind but it will take some time probably like always it rarely happens very quickly but it'll, it'll take some time but the overall sense is that you are ready to take action and you are <laughs> thinking about it quite a lot and it feels like you are this very active person and even maybe impulsive a little bit sometimes but you know aren't we all so it's um, about going back to your balance thing balance and finding other points of view maybe other factors that are present but a little bit outside of your awareness finding connection with people and being on this journey of gaining experience not only intellectual not only thinking about things and taking action based on your logical thinking but also including a little bit of your intuitive sense a little bit of your other right brain <laughs> inviting it into this uh, whole uh, picture to find the truth and to find your way but having your strength and willpower and your marvelous sense of uh, move, moving forward is something that will help you to consider your new idea even to start acting upon your new path so i really wish you good luck with that and please get back to me to <laughs> tell me how it went for you the 2021 um, i wish you all the success that you deserve i am sure of it and be well and if you want we can do a little meditation just a few minutes we'll ponder a couple of questions based on this spread if you are so inclined so to do this I will invite you to just find a position that will help you to move to move into this more relaxed state more relaxed maybe observe your breath for a couple of cycles and realize how it happens all by itself how your breathing is just there nothing to do about it something that is always there that is always adapting to whatever you are doing 
whether you are running or you are resting your breathing is something that follows your action and adjusts so that you have the right amount of oxygen and nutrients delivered to all your body parts and organs so that you perform at the best of your abilities. And based on what you've just heard, I will ask you to think about two things here, about finding the balance and connecting with others. It looks like you are a person who knows how to move forward who has quite a lot of experience using your willpower, using your strength. You've been able to move forward despite any obstacles. But in this case, I'd like you to ponder a question. Where in your life you might benefit from gaining more balance what is it that you could balance more in your life and how could you do that what helps you to find balance in your life, whether it's a work-life balance, whether it's a balance between thinking and letting go. You are the only person who knows the answer. It's unique to you and it's something that will probably emerge for you right now or a little bit later. Since you asked yourself this question. How do you find this balance and what balance is that for you? And at the same time, I will invite you to reflect on your connections to other people and your relationships. yet again on the possibilities of making these connections even more harmonious of making them more pleasurable for you and for others and what could you do and what needs to be done in this case to really truly enjoy this connection to others that you'll be able to foster in the upcoming year and it'll bring you some wonderful wonderful results and i really appreciate your time and i wish you all the best thank you Okay, so now we ha we are having a pile number three here and we'll look at the results for the 2021. Are you still with me? I hope so. Let's do this. Okay. 
Okay, wonderful. So it seems like the past year brought something very important. Uh, something that is related to your long-term goals. And also, you've had some really interesting, maybe um, optimistic development of some situations, despite the difficulties, despite the fact that, of course, there were obstacles and it was not easy. So you've had your share of difficulties. However, it seems like the summary of the past year is something that you've gained for yourself when it comes to the long-term development. So maybe you started something new, maybe you realized something that is related to your goal. And the goal is not something for a month or even for a year, it's something that goes beyond and you are really excited about moving forward over time towards this big goal of yours. Probably you've, you've learned some lessons about how to overcome obstacles and fast changing situations. And I think it's true for many, many people. Coming out of 2020, we've learned how to overcome obstacles in a new way that we've never imagined before but it's true for you since you're listening to this so you've probably had your share of difficulties and unexpected situations that evolved fast and you've been you've been able to overcome this successfully and it seems like uh, your hopes and your goals at this moment are um, related to approaching the situation creatively and uh, maybe even looking outside of the box and looking from a different perspective and you, you, you're probably in the middle of reflection about something, about this new goal of yours. Maybe it's new, maybe it's not, but it seems like it became really important this 2020 and you are holding this torch and you're like determined to move forward with it and to continue for years to come and probably you are in this reflection mode where you you're trying to see things from a different perspective and it takes time so it's not something that happens overnight it's something that takes time to reflect on to choose the appropriate decision to choose this next move it might really uh, take time and it's totally fine that it takes this time you might be thinking about some things that you have to let go of or some things that you need to start doing so it's like uh, probably something that you you're ready to drop and <laughs> to sacrifice for the lack of a better word to be able to move forward so it's just this reflective uh, situation that I'm sensing from what I see and it, it feels like that you like to have lots of choices it's it probably it's something that excites you to have like different avenues to or maybe you have different sides of your situation that you are uh, working on and probably you have different elements to it for for example if it's a business probably you have this marketing side of it you have this customer care side of it you have this creative part where you you sit and create things maybe a networking part and it seems like you, you really like this diversity something that helps you move forward something that motivates you in this movement and uh, gaining experience in all these different areas something that is really appealing to you at the same time when it comes to some obstacles and barriers to overcome it feels like that some thinking uh, maybe overthinking in a way so something that is uh, in constant progress like in the background um, it might be related to your internal situation to your internal uh, let's say reflection it might uh, slow you down so you might be uh, overthinking some 
elements of your uh, current situation and this might prevent you from taking action or maybe you will find this within yourself what is it that um, creates a sense of despair a little bit you want more wisdom you want some answers right and it's easy to say because you're watching this video so something from within that uh, you have this power to overcome because it's yours so something that is happening is this progressing inside like maybe it's thinking maybe it's um, ruminating on something that it slows you down a little bit but you certainly have the ability to overcome this because it's intrinsically yours and when it comes to relationships you have this wonderful wonderful card of the world for the 2021 which is a card of harmony it's a card of you know reconnecting uh, optimism like completion of something really beautiful and it feels like uh, you have a lot of probably uh, connections that you uh, re-establish if some of them were uh, lost or not lost but maybe uh, due to the circumstances they they've been a little bit neglected but it seems like you you will be able to reconnect with uh, people with real like different relationships within yourself too because it's all about emotions and our emotions they come from within always when it comes to the career there might be a sense of um, being just a tiny little bit bored with what you're doing but at the same time you can appreciate the stability so uh, maybe emotional even stability whether you are looking for a change and that's why you've started this whole uh, venture here with multiple streams of um, you know different things that are happening at the same time because you know you, at your current occupation you might be bored or you might lack this excitement probably you'll juggle things a lot the upcoming year and you'll be able to gain experience with this with reconciling certain areas and maybe doing something in parallel so it, it looks like you are really good at juggling on different things and you gain some internal motivation from this probably like when when it comes to the well-being then there is a change that you're probably looking at change maybe it's related to again uh, reconnecting to some people like ending the difficulties that uh, probably emerged since the past year's challenges so it looks like uh, ending the conflicts and uh, changing some ways when it comes to relating to others will help in re-establishing your well-being feeling really strong about your uh, well-being and your uh, energy <laughs> situation like energy maintenance in general it looks like there is something to work on there is a change and this change might be related to how you build your relationship with other people now when it comes to the spiritual realm it, it seems like there is a major change coming up and death is a beautiful card of transformation it's almost like being a caterpillar and then uh, becoming a um, butterfly you know so uh, it's only you who can tell what major change might happen uh, within your uh, spiritual side and what is it that will move forward for you what is it that will that will be this transformation it's, it's quite important right it's something maybe related to your business or to your endeavor or to something you are thinking about right now and maybe you are not quite there yet so you are reflecting on it having just a little bit of uneasy feelings about this thinking but it, it feels like you are moving towards a certain important change that uh, will be probably uh, related to other people mm, probably it it will be a change on a personal level 
so it's not easy to say it's something important that you'll witness for yourself uh, during this year and when it comes to the areas to focus on it it, it looks like your emotional well-being is important so five of cups is the change on an emotional level and we'll see change here on your well-being position and this important a transformation in the spiritual position so and if we go um, further to the most important lesson in the coming year uh, which is an emotional obstacle it's kind of it feels like there is a lot of emotions involved and emotions in different sense so emotions in the sense of change in the sense of obstacle and also in the sense of uh, being fulfilled by or maybe you know having this experience with multiple things might be really curious but at the same time it might really drain energy sometimes so i think emotional state here is really present on, on this spread so the, the question might be what is it that helps you to gain your balance and to really feel emotionally comfortable uh, cared for how can you care for your emotional well-being so that uh, moving forward it won't be an obstacle but rather uh, you will create this wonderful wonderful situation for yourself that will help you to grow and do whatever you want to do because you know it's it's not uncommon when our emotions actually slow ourselves down it's very common in human experience when we have thinking happening and thinking is always linked to emotions and when we are you know thinking too much about things and then we have these emotions that appear of course it's something to consider so whatever you, your situation is uh, if you can think about the ways that you can support yourself uh, on an emotional level and uh, gain this um, insight for yourself this almost lightness how can you uh, rise above this uh, emotional state and maybe uh, go a little bit higher and uh, become a little bit more comfortable with things that are uncertain or with things that give you a certain level of emotional discomfort so the question is how how does it work for you what's the best way for you to go about that and the overall direction it seems like you you have this thinking again you have this uh, wonderful new opportunity it's almost like a new beginning for you that is arising it's like you you start something completely new and maybe you're doing this in parallel with something else but it seems like you are moving towards that and being able to overcome any emotional challenges and obstacles and obstacles are there for a reason so we, are, we learn from them we uh, overcome them it's not that it's stopped no it's it's just something that we go around or we go over you know so uh, the fool is a very powerful card that shows to us that the new direction that you are taking it will probably carry on beyond 2021 and again look at that the fool speaks to the star directly so this is something long term so you're you're almost like on a you're starting something and you are moving towards this a new goal that you defined for yourself or you're feeling like you you want to pursue this new goal um, long term that'll take maybe uh, several years to uh, reach or maybe it's just such a goal that is just far away but you you move towards it and it feels good just to move towards this uh, goal and y y it feels like you are thinking about things about a very different approach and you are on this way so i really appreciate your time i really thank you so much for uh, joining me today for this exercise and i hope it was helpful and if you want we can do a little short meditation just a few minutes to reconcile all this and to think about certain certain things that appeared and for this I will invite you to really sit comfortably or maybe lay down, it doesn't matter.
just don't drive please no driving here and from this position that you find yourself in quite naturally i'll invite you to check your facial muscles your jaw and relax them relax your tongue relax your neck and you know sometimes we can even move our shoulders quite a bit roll them backwards in different directions maybe stretch this might help stretch and then just let it go <sighs> just let it go with a sigh with a sigh and we'll slow down and we'll slow down just a little bit even slowing down our breath just one percent slowing down and appreciating our breath the rhythm the pace the automaticity the lightness the present moment this now and finding the comfort in this present moment and finding the balance in this present moment and even if other thoughts will appear we can always let them go in this moment let them go and dissolve they will not disappear they will simply wait us till we finish in this moment and the question i'd like to ask you or rather i'd like you to ponder will be what can be so helpful for you to consider to do to feel emotionally good during the next days what would be one thing just one that you can do for yourself to feel good it can be rest it can be engaging in a hobby it can be talking to a friend going for a walk watching your favorite movie reading a book drawing playing an instrument skiing playing with with your dog it can be absolutely anything and it's your choice you get to choose how you can make yourself feel good you get to choose that that's yours or maybe you'll find several things that you'd like to do it's a perfect moment we have a little bit of free time we have a little bit of time off so maybe you can find something really exciting and interesting that will help you to gain the energy to move beyond your current state to really change your state to something different to something better and while being in this wonderful state while gaining this lightness overcoming any uncomfortable moments I'd like you to think about your goal 
the star that shines for you? What is it so appealing about it and you know that? It's not something you have to think about hard, it's something that probably is there for you. So I invite you to really deeply connect to this star, the shining star of your goal. To think about people who are involved, people who can be helped, who can benefit. And yourself, how will your life change if you continue with this goal? What will you see? What will you do? Why is this important? Why is this important? Why? And what else? And what else? What else is important about this goal? Who will you be when you'll be striving to achieve this goal and you'll get closer and closer and closer? Who will you be as a person? And how can you look at things from a different angle? What helps you to change perspective? It might be a thousand and one different things. Talking to someone reading a book, watching a video. It might be just reflection, a quiet moment of meditation, a quiet moment of nothingness, of doing absolutely nothing at all and allowing the answers to come reconnecting to your inner self, to your inner wisdom. And I wish you all the best. I wish you great success and feeling good in 2021. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time and thank you.